Hello and welcome to Woodfired Weekly at Manor from Devon. June the 29th, National Cream Tea Day. We take this sort of thing very seriously down here in Devon. Cream tea, it's a county pastime. And uh, uh, so we're going to be giving ourselves a little scone challenge to make some sweet scones and some savoury scones. Bake them in the alpha. Uh, none of this should take very long at all. So we've got two mixes and we've got some top tips here from Richard Hunt who runs the Devon Scone Company. He is the man who should know. Uh, so in my bowl of dry ingredients, I've got flour, plain flour, baking powder, dry milk powder, uh, sugar, and butter. And in the savory bowl, already rubbed up, I've got exactly the same ingredients except no sugar. Uh, so I'm gonna quickly rub all of those dry ingredients together. We're going to jazz this up just a little bit with some lemon zest. And then we're going to add a few, just a few rose petals. Rose petals and, and strawberry, what a fantastic combination that is. So rose petal scones and strawberry jam, delicious. Sprinkle in a few rose petals. Over here on the savoury side, I've gone for uh, some red cheese, red Shropshire, just because it shows up nice, as well as having a, a, a nice strong flavour, uh, nice and salty, but it also will show up a little bit and add a bit of colour. We're also going to go for a pinch of fresh marjoram, straight out of the garden. In with that. And our other flavouring is going to be a little spoonful of mustard but I'm just gonna whip that up with the wet ingredients uh, before, that goes, before that goes in. So in the wet pot, I've got a mix of buttermilk and, uh, and yogurt. Could be all of one of those or a little bit of, little bit of both and egg. Uh, exactly the same over, over here. In with the egg. In with the yogurt and buttermilk and then quickly bring those together and once I've pretty much got everything wet I just finish it by bringing it together by by hand so there it is in a nice more or less evenly wet lump but not not worked so that's the scone mixed together. To shape this, just a little bit of flour and press that down. Just keep it nicely in, in shape. And then I use the scraper to score the top to make eight and then we're just going to let this start to activate so that the, the raising agents begin to come into, into use. And then we'll give a little egg brush on the top and into the oven. We'll quickly do the sweet one. So here's my dry mix. Into that, the egg and buttermilk and yogurt. And in we go, mix it all up, quick as you can. And then we're just gonna bring that together by, by hand. And then out on a little bit of flour to shape and cut. Okay, so there it is, all mixed together. I'm just gonna bring that loosely in. No need to knead. Flatten it down again to around about an inch thickness, two and a half to three centimeters. And then here we're gonna use a, a cutter to cut out our scones and place those on a lined baking sheet. Those are all made up, just starting to activate. And let's have a look at how we've got the oven set up. I've had the fire burning for quite a while in this oven the Alpha, 
So I've got quite a bit of heat in the floor, 225, 215, 250 over there by the fire. I've got my little bed of embers over there, which are gonna keep the temperature nice and, and up. And we wanna sort of start a little bit above 200 and then see it falling down below. We've got this little protector in there, which just deflects heat so that we don't get radiant heat onto the side of the, the scones. That'll give us a slightly more even temperature in the, in the oven. So egg wash. Nice generous bit of egg washing. I'm gonna cook the savory one directly on the floor of the oven. It'll have a nice crusty bottom. Make sure it's moving on the peel. Leaving a perfect space there for the sweet ones. And now I'm gonna put the door on. It'll leave the flue open so that anything coming off those embers doesn't sort of taint the flavor of the, of the scones. But it'll just help to regulate the heat inside inside the oven, giving us a constant temperature for 12 minutes, 15 minutes for the sweet ones, 15 to 20 minutes for the big savory one. Time for our sweet scones to come out. They've had just about 15 minutes. Just check that these appear okay. Lovely. So the savory scone has had about 20 minutes. I think that should be plenty, but it's a big, it's a big lump, so I didn't want to rush that. We'll let those cool down for a few minutes, and then they'll be ready to serve. Thank you very much for watching Woodfired Weekly. We've enjoyed being here. If you've enjoyed being here, please subscribe to our channel. We'll put the recipe below, all the other details. Please comment and. Join in the conversation and we'll see you next time.